Setting up the right rules and regulations for renting a property to a prospective tenant may be a bit complicated if you don't know much about the current market conditions. Some states allow landlords and property managers to charge as much rent as they want to existing tenants, but other states may have rent control regulations. Welcome back, Loopers. I'm your host, Andrew Chung. In this video, we're diving deep into the world of rent control and how it affects both landlords and tenants. Rent control, or rent stabilization, aims to make housing more affordable. It limits how much a property manager can charge for rent and sometimes how often they can increase it. While it sounds simple, it has complex ramifications in the housing market. Rent control has roots back in the 1920s, but it wasn't until the 1970s with the establishment of New York's Rent Control Board that we saw it take a more structured form. Fast forward to 2019, and Oregon emerged as the first state to implement statewide rent control, sparking mixed reactions from the market. Now, only specific cities have rent control in place. Think of cities like New York City, LA, San Francisco, and Washington, D.C. But it's essential to understand that finding a rent control department in these cities might still be challenging due to their popularity. Here's where opinions diverge. For tenants, rent control can mean stability and predictable housing costs. But for landlords and property managers, it can signify lesser profits and sometimes even losses. There are two primary types, vacancy control and vacancy decontrol. Both have their own sets of rules, limitations, and benefits, which can directly affect how properties are priced and maintained. Vacancy control is often referred to as true rent control, where the landlord or property manager may only increase the price of rent for the rental property according to the market rate set by the rent control board, and the landlord may only raise rent to the existing tenant a particular number of times each year. In vacancy decontrol, the landlord can increase the price for the rent control department to any amount they want when the old tenant moves out and a new one comes in. Rent increases are often regulated by city rent boards, which determine the allowable percentage of increase each year. This varies from city to city, so always check your local regulations. While it's true that rent control can provide neighborhood stability and predictable rents, there are downsides. For instance, landlords might not be as keen on maintaining their properties due to reduced income. Having a price ceiling may make landlords convert their properties to condos. Evicting tenants from rent-controlled properties is a complex affair. In some places, such as LA, landlords might even have to pay hefty relocation fees if they ask tenants to leave. However, there are some exceptions to these rules. In the case the landlord or property manager wants to move into their unit or offer it to a family member, they can ask the tenant to leave without any legal repercussions. Also, in some cities, you're legally able to make cash for resort offers to tenants. This means you can pay tenants to leave the property as long as you inform them of their rights and send a notification of that agreement to the city. Remember that tenants have the right to not accept your offer and have the right to keep living in the unit. Rent control is just one piece of the housing affordability puzzle. Economic research remains divided on its long-term effects, but it's undeniable that rent control has significant implications for both landlords and tenants. It's vital to note that rent control policies aren't the only thing that can affect housing prices. There are many cities in the U.S. without rent control policies that offer properties that are still highly expensive for tenants. So, property managers, if you're in an area with rent control, be informed. Know your rights and responsibilities to navigate this intricate landscape successfully. And DoorLoop is here to help you make property management easier. Schedule your free demo today and discover everything that DoorLoop has to offer. Click on the link in the description below. Well, that's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so we can get this information to more real estate professionals. If you want to join a community with other real estate professionals, join our exclusive Facebook community with the link in the description. And to learn more about property management tips, click this playlist here. We'll see you there.